Croft, heroine from the video game Tomb Raider, once said, the extraordinary is in what you do, not who you are. Now you may find it odd that I quote a fictional character from a video game, but there is much to be learned from the concept of gaming. After all, there are many video games that simulate real life, where avatars take on roles just like we do here in the real world. Many of you aspire to be great students, amazing teachers, powerful lawyers, doctors, astronauts, or even engineers. And just like the famous Sims video game, the choices you make in life can often affect the titles you earn later. Everybody has their own path that they'd like to create. It's kind of like designing your avatar from your favorite video game. You can either represent yourself as how you are or how you would like to be. Personally, I am Adya Shah, a ninth grader at William T. Dwyer High School. The stats of my avatar would say that I'm a 14-year-old girl who goes to school, attends tennis and debate, and hangs out with their friends. This is who I am, but these titles or descriptions do not define me. What defines me is what I have accomplished, creating my own path, using my judgment and, using my judgment and experiences to the best of my ability wherever I am. So today I would like to talk to all of you about navigating the game of school, which can eventually help you navigate the game of life. So sit back in your best gamer chairs as we go through the early levels of your gaming life to help you prepare for your ultimate level, your success. One of the most important levels in the game of school is when you're a toddler. What I mean by this is when you learn how to speak, your ABCs, your one, two, threes, colors, shapes, and objects. All of these are very important because these are your building blocks, what you will build your whole life on. And if you don't master these, then your future abilities will be impacted. For example, if I didn't learn how to speak properly and formulate those words into effective arguments, I wouldn't be able to do what I am passionate about today, which is public policy and debate. So the skills we learn in each level of the game are the building blocks that will help define who we will become. Now that we've mastered the basics, let's move on to the next level, elementary school. In elementary school, you build a foundation for what is to come. In math, you learn addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. None of these will go away. In fact, they will just become more complicated. In English, you learn vocabulary and grammar. And again, these will just become more complex. And if you don't master these skills, you will have a weak foundation for the empire you will want to build. I know in the moment, school may seem like the hardest opponent in the world, but you just cannot give up. You have to battle through it. If I was never exposed to public speaking early on in my game, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing today. I continue to stash my power-ups as I move on through the levels. Now we're on to our next level, middle school. In middle school, your skins, to use a Minecraft term, can change. Appearance and personality among them. For me, middle school was a roller coaster. I'd always complain about how boring or annoying it was. And sometimes the settings in my game seemed too challenging or not challenging enough. In the end, I persevered. And I even got some extra points along the way because I paid attention, learned, and did what I had to do. I built the structure on the foundation of my empire. If I hadn't taken middle school seriously and slacked off, I wouldn't have been able to participate in the amazing opportunities and rewards that were available along the way. The game of middle school helped prepare me for what I was to face last August. Ready Player One? It's time to watch me take the controls in my own game. High school, where do I even begin? I could start off by saying how middle school prepared me because of how seriously I took my teachers in my classes. In general, my classes aren't too hard, and I'm thriving under the pressure because I grew stronger with every challenge and every level. And I even perse middle, I persevered and was determined to do my best, and that is what middle school instilled in me. For some of my teammates, this new level seems impossible, juggling between academic sports and a social life, but I am able to find the perfect balance. 
I'm able to apply everything I learned, not just inside, but also outside the classroom. And I'm proud to share some of the titles I've earned, which include vice president of my debate team and a policy advocate. So, I'm victorious. I stand before you victorious as throughout this speech, I've sh shown you the different levels of the game of school. And I learned to level up, and you can too. Education is one of the most valuable items you'll have the opportunity to put in your inventory. And if you take each level seriously, you will even be able to add your own name to the leaderboard of life. Thank you. <laughs>